Hi, today I'm going to be sharing with you our living books, the ones that we, that we use uh, specifically from arithmetic, mathematics, and um, this is part of a collaboration with Pepper and Pine, and so thank you for allowing me to uh, participate in today's collaboration. There is going to be many other videos um, and participants in this, so be sure to check out the iCard above to um, get the full playlist and see everybody else's videos. So let's get started. Today, um, I do have the living book. She also um, invited us to share our uh, game favorites and um, different um, activities maybe we would do you know just anything math related because today is of course 3.14 pi day and uh, if you would like to see one of the um, treats I'm going to be making for our family then you're going to want to tune back in on Friday and I'll video up for you it's a uh, frugal um, gluten-free treat that um, we really enjoy and I think you might too so check back on Friday um, to, to see more of that and if you're not subscribed I would love to have you join and go ahead and just hit that little red subscribe button and see more videos all right so today's I'm just going to be sharing three different sets of math book favorites again for the games I kind of just play the games that you can find at the superstore, things that like uh, snakes and ladders where you have two die and they need to add up the little dots. Um, those are really great for younger kids and just they learn how to um, see the different sums and uh, or at the different digits and create a sum with it. The first set I want to show you actually has a pie book. These are the circumference series, and I started off with, I think, I think I started out with these, the, the first two, these two, and very rapidly we knew that they were going to be a family favorite, and we ended up getting more. The great thing about circumference, has he has a sun radius, and lady dia diameter, or lady die. And this one, of course, is die of amateur, amateur. So we have circumference, lady die of a meter, and radius are back in their second math adventure. This time a potion has changed circumference into a fire breathing dragon. Can radius change him back? Join radius on his quest through the castle to solve a riddle that will reveal the cure. It lies in discovering the magic number that is the same for all circles. So we will definitely be reading this. And just a few of the other ones just to... You know, why not? We have circumference in the first round table, and we learn all about our different shapes with this. Circumference and the Great Knight of Angleland, and we learned all about ankles. Circumference and the Vikings map. And um, you can kind of get an idea of what that one's going to be about, learning how to read. And then this one is a multiplication kind of one, and this one is circumference and all the kings ten. And the next one that I would like to get is circumference and the fraction fair. But anyway, these ones are definitely well loved. Um, this one, this one, um, we literally just got this week, and they've already been read several times. And they are definitely a family favorite. All right, I'm gonna save the best for last, I think. And then I have shared this before as one of my favorites. This is uh, Math Fables by Greg Tang. I really love how um, this just, I'm just gonna kind of share it here. We have the number four going nuts. Four squirrels frolicked in the leaves one brisk afternoon when suddenly it dawned on them that snow was coming soon. We haven't any winter food. Three frightened squirrels cried. I best I guess we better get to work. A prudent one replied. So then you have the three plus four or three plus one is four. And then you've got 
Two squirrels raced to gather nuts and make a great big mound. The other two then buried them in stashes underground. And then we, so then we have the two plus two is four. And then again, we uh, bring that number back in. All four slept very well. So it just has different variations of how you get um, different numbers. Again, we have the five plus one and the three plus three. And of course, you have the two plus four. You have the two plus four. And I really, really enjoy this book. And along with that, I got the um, multiplication one when my uh, eldest was going to be starting that. And let me just show you a page. So we have the number three, three sum. Three is, in, three is as easy as can be if you triple what you see. In other words, just add it thrice. This is simply one more than twice. So what is three times three? It is doubled plus three. Double first, so three plus three is six. 6 plus 3 is 9. So then what is 3 times 9? It is 9 double plus, you know, and then you just kind of, um, 3 times 9 is 9 plus 9 plus 9 equals 18 plus 9 is 27, and then you kind of just go along with that. And it's just really, really fun. Again, I really, really enjoy. Um, simple, yet challenging, yet um, I just really enjoy books like that. And then I am so excited about this because I finally have a set of my own. Um, the I have been borrowing my mother's and other various friends for a while now. And that is, of course, the very well-known, well-loved, I don't, I have not heard a bad review of The Life of Fred. That doesn't mean there's one, out, there isn't one out there, but I have yet to hear or find one. And trust me, I have been looking out for them. Just something that maybe I haven't thought of that I should really consider. Um, the Life of Fred, we ha I just have the first four because I just found these, again, affordable. They are approximately $15 a piece, and so when I got it for about half of that, I was really excited, and they are very quickly snatched up. Um, the Life of Fred Apples is, of course, the first one. Hello! And, um... I, I, I saw this earlier and I kind of just wanted to show the way math is usually taught pages and pages of worksheet circle three alligators underline the two hippos drill and kill no motivation when I taught at high school and college level frequent question that other math teachers and I got why are we studying this stuff the traditional approach in say algebra is to show the students how to factor x2 x to the second power plus 7x plus 2 you know and all these kinds of things um, in contrast, the Life of Fred series, every piece of mathematics first happens in Fred's everyday life. He needs it, then we do it. Everything is motivated, everything from introducing the number zero in this book as the number of elephants that Fred owns to the hyperbolic trigonometric functions. Blah! Where we find three uses for them on page 250, Life of Fred Calculus 1. Anyway, um, but you can get just a lot from these. And these are the elementary series. And that, again, I just have the first four. So those are definitely um, my favorite, my favorite uh, mathematic, arithmetic books. And the ones that um, I have kept on our shelves and enjoyed using. And on that note, I am going to go back to motherhood. I will see you in my next video.